Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, happy Monday, guys. How was y'all's weekend? Mine was actually very, very good. Saturday, I actually got to rest. Well, I wouldn't really call it rest. I ended up uh, leaving out about 10.30 in the morning and uh, headed over to pick up Margarita and her kids. And then we went to Fayetteville. We went to Top Golf, Crumble Cookie, did a little shopping, went to the mall and stuff like that. I went to Best Buy to try to get my drone warranty uh, situated. Boy, that right there was a waste of time. I went there. They put me on hold with Geek Squad on the phone for like 30 minutes and then after nobody ever answered and then finally the guy said well you know you could just do this from home i don't know why he didn't tell me 30 minutes earlier and that i could just do that from home but wasted a little bit of time there but we had a blast at top golf um i've only played top golf once besides then and i did not do too good but i actually did really really good uh saturday i was smashing it smashing it we had a really good time though we ate some chicken wings and kind of hung out and then we went to crumble cookie afterwards everybody got some cookies the kids seem to have had a really really good time and uh i dropped them off i didn't get back home that night until like 10 30 at night it was a long day a lot of driving because fayetteville is quite a ways away from me it was margaritas is about an hour from me and then Fayetteville is about an hour and a half from them. So it's about two and a half hours uh, driving each way. So I definitely got some miles in on the old Chevy. Had a good time. I have a dentist appointment this morning. Um, well, in the midday, which I hate having appointments in the middle of the day because it just messes your whole day up. My dentist appointment is like at one o'clock. And uh, I have to go get the permanent crown put on, on my tooth. Uh, I've been rocking the temporary now for a couple of weeks. Well, I've been waiting on them to get the new one made. So I got to go get that put on today. I also need to go to Harvard Freight. I'm going to uh, go get a hand auger. And I have the big auger for the tractor. But uh, I want a hand auger too for places that the tractor can't really get to. And uh, I think it would just be easier with the pump house there just to do it by hand with a hand auger there's a lot of different uh, uses that you can use a hand auger for as y'all seen when i did the outdoor kitchen i used it to plant the plants and stuff it works really good here in the mountains where there's a bunch of rock and stuff like that to be able to dig for plants so they're not too expensive and i believe uh country road cure needs one too um, they've been having a lot of trouble with theirs i know a lot of people's commented don't you know that country road cures got one well, Country Road Cures Auger is very, very old and is having a bunch of issues, and they are actually in the market for a new one as well. So I'm probably going to pick them one up too while I'm going, to save them from having to drive all the way into town. And then, uh, yeah, a one o'clock appointment just makes it to where you really can't get nothing done. Um, I can't really start a project here this morning, and then I have to take a shower and then go get ready and then go and everything else um yesterday i had a productive day all of that stuff that was stacked up over there in the front yard from where we cleared out all the trees for the starlink uh, a couple of months ago and also the big logs were in the front yard very close to the cabin i don't like that big pile of dead brush that close to the cabin it's a fire hazard so I moved all of that yesterday, cleared out another spot on the other side of the road where most of my property is, where the Airbnbs are going to be. So I cleared out an area where the pond's going to go over there and stacked all of that over there. But as I was pulling it out and stacking it, I was cutting up the stuff that's a decent size for the fire pit area. So now I got me a nice little stack of logs over there for the fire pit and also got all the bigger logs that I had sectioned off to start drying over there by the sawmill and uh, i want to start milling today hopefully i get back from the dentist in time to still have a little bit of time to maybe at least get one log milled today that'd be cool i want to get the uh, sawmill fired up i need to start making some wood for the pump house Ryder's back there playing i can hear him so that's the goal for today if i don't get back in time then that's what i'll be doing tomorrow is uh, messing with the mill and trying to learn it because I know absolutely nothing about milling wood. 
Um, it's something I've never done before. I have worked at a sawmill before building pallets and stuff, but I wasn't the one running the mill. And that mill was completely different than what this mill is right here anyways. That was one of those big old mills with the big, big blades and all of that. So completely different, completely different. But I'm excited about learning it. Um, this would definitely be a good project for me to kind of cut my teeth on and learn. It is just a pump house. So I, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. So, But I do believe I can figure it out. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about it. And uh, it doesn't seem like rocket science, but it definitely seems like the more you do it, the better you get. And the more that you can kind of start looking at the logs and stuff and kind of realizing what you can actually get out of them and stuff. So I'm excited about it, though. I'm excited to uh, get that thing fired up because it's getting colder and uh, winter is definitely coming. So that means I need to be on the move to get everything done that I need to get done. I have decided that I am doing a lean-to off of the pump house and solar house for the uh, washer and dryer and all that other stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do like an L-shape type deal. And I'm thinking in the lean-to area is probably where I'm going to end up putting the solar because that will actually put it further away from the water source. And uh, I would like to keep the power as far away from the water as possible just in case an accident happens. You know, and bust a pipe or something like that, and you don't want water spraying all over your solar components and stuff like that. I think that's going to be the smartest, smartest choice. But yeah, the anticipation is killing me though, man. I'm ready to get the post in the ground, and I am ready to get some wood in the air. Um, I'm ready. I think the metal is going to be here Thursday. If there's no delays, hopefully it'll get here Thursday. Um, I should be able to have quite a bit of the framing up by Thursday to be able to put the roof on. So hopefully it shows up on time, but if not, it ain't no big deal because there's plenty of work to do. I could be milling until it gets there. Um, I have so much milling to do. It's, it's unreal. And I know it's getting colder. The good thing is, is I can mill in the winter. Um, it doesn't really snow here and stuff like that until from what I've heard late like January, February, stuff like that. So still got a couple of months where I can get quite a bit of milling done and get stuff separated. Just have to be out there in the cold. Have to get my jacket on and my hoodie and get out there and, and get to cutting. Ugh. But I'm digging the new cabin layout for sure. It's been about a week, week and a half now since we've rearranged everything. And it functions so, so much better. And uh, I cooked a 15 bean soup the other night with some smoked ham hocks and stuff in it on the inside with the Instapot. And, uh, you know, I had quite a bit of stuff all over the counters and stuff like that. And it seemed to uh, function very, very, very well. I'm also about uh, two weeks now without a monster. I've been drinking my coffee, so I'm happy about that. Um, I think last week it, it took its toll on me though with my body like adjusting to not drinking monsters every day because i did not have my normal energy level can y'all hear all that noise in the background rider going crazy in there rider what are you doing yeah must be in there playing with the toys got these little my, mice toys that has the little uh organic catnip in it or whatever he'll throw that junk in the air catch it swat it play that joker's all over the place. Eclipse is already outside this morning playing. Um, she's who, actually who woke me up this morning. She was ready to go outside. And boy, as soon as I opened up the door with this cold weather, she was pow, gone. Um, Margarita's coming over tomorrow. I think she's going to try to cook um, tomorrow. If she does, I'll film it. It's hard whenever during the week whenever she comes because she gets here so late It's hard to actually cook a full meal Record and do all of that other stuff, but we're gonna try. I mean we've been trying to Get one of those things filmed for a while and it's just been so hectic and crazy And uh, it's officially two weeks now that I've been full-time YouTube as well And I've got quite a bit done and uh, still got a quite a bit more to do uh, Starting to organize a lot of the back-end stuff um, I'm about to start working on my bonfire and I hope 
hopefully I'll have some kind of designs or something out this week for some merchandise and stuff like that. A lot of people have been asking for it, and uh, I haven't had a chance to set it up. Uh, I want to do one store for all three channels, and I, right now I'm in the process of doing new logos and stuff for Come On, Keeping It Real, and also Fired Up Friday. So there's a lot of back-end work that goes along with that. And then uh, football season started uh, Thursday night and uh, yesterday, so I was glad to see some football on TV, although I didn't get a chance to actually sit and watch the game um, and probably won't have time to sit and watch too many games. But I do like watching the highlights and the uh, NFL access and stuff like that, kind of watching it afterwards just to see what everybody did. And uh, my Buccaneers look pretty good. I I know everybody thinks I'm a Dallas fan because I wear a Dallas hat. I'm not a Dallas fan. Um, I did live in Dallas, and I don't have nothing against Dallas, but that hat came from whenever I went to the game. I bought a hat. My brother is actually a big Dallas fan, and uh, when I flew him and my uh, nephew and my son and everybody up to Dallas and took them all to a Dallas game, um, we all got hats and stuff like that, jerseys and all that. Um, because I'm an NFL fan, um, there's not too many teams that I don't l like. Um, I am a Bucks fan, though. I was a Philly fan for a long, long time, most of my life. But uh, Philly's just done some stuff that I just, I just can't look past anymore. So I kind of got off of them. I was a fan from for them for, since I was seven years old, and about two years ago, I finally decided that. It was time for me to switch, and I've always liked the Bucks. I actually uh, built the Bucks Stadium and used to live right down the road from the stadium whenever I lived in Florida there uh, many, many, many moons ago. So I am a Bucks fan. Uh, they they look good. I was glad to see it. And uh, there was some crazy, crazy stuff according to the highlights that I've seen. There's already a bunch of injuries and stuff, so that's kind of crazy. But that typically happens on week one because uh, everybody's out of shape, <laughs> for sure. But I don't really have a whole lot today, guys. Um, like I said, just got appointments. Got to run around, do some shopping. Going to go to uh, Walmart and get some groceries because I am just about out of groceries here at the cabin. Um, I've been trying to let it get lower and stuff so I can kind of get a different game plan. Uh trying to make lists and stuff now so I don't have so much food waste because with uh, it being so hard for me to keep stuff uh, cold and I can't freeze nothing because I don't have a freezer that uh, I end up having to waste a lot of food because I don't get something cooked in time. It's hard to have fresh like spinach and stuff like that because the bottom of the cooler gets too cold and the top of the cooler and it kind of messes it all up. So I might look into getting me one of those uh anthony was telling me about these little chest freezers that walmart's got and they said they had one and they could leave it unplugged for four days last summer and it would stay frozen so that might be an option for me now that i'm here uh full time and i'm running the generator actually more and stuff throughout the day i believe that i could probably uh have one of those chest freezers now and actually be able to start freezing some meat and stuff which would make my life so much easier and also make it a lot easier for me to do fired up fridays because uh i tell you what as expensive as meat is right now whenever meat goes bad and you don't get to cook it it hurts it hurts so i'm also going to look at that today whenever i'm out and see if that's an option i don't need a real huge one but uh it would be nice to have kind of like a little smaller smaller one that i could actually keep stuff frozen that way i could start uh, buying meat more in bulk and stuff like that instead of having to buy like every two days of getting meat you want to come up here come on you want to come up here come here come here come here uh, uh, i got the road runner i got the road runner say hi to the people Tell everybody, hey, say hey, say good morning, good morning. I heard you back there playing. I heard you back there playing. What you messing up, huh? What you messing up? <laughs> yeah, oh, Ryder's wide open this morning. Yeah, I think this cool weather's got the animals uh fired up <laughs> for sure, huh? 
get it fired up. It does feel good though. It's a whole lot better waking up and it's a nice cool brisk morning than what it is whenever it's all uh, humid and stuff like that. But yeah, we're making progress. I'm looking for a very productive, productive busy week. And I hope you guys have a very, very productive, productive week as well. And I hope y'all's Monday is amazing. But I think me and Ryder is going to get up. Oh, Ryder's already been up. And I'm going to get dressed and start getting ready to go to my appointment. Because I want to get there early, get all the shopping and stuff done besides the grocery shopping uh, before the appointment. That way that's off my plate. That way when I get done with the dentist, all I got to do is go get some groceries and then head back to the house. And hopefully be able to start milling. That's the goal anyways. That's the goal. Alright guys, well we will see each other what Tuesday morning. And I hope everybody has a very, very good Monday. And tell everybody bye, Ryder. Say bye. What is it? Bye. All right, guys. See y'all tomorrow. Keep it real.